Hi guys. It is yet another nasty, ugly, gray, cold, depressing day here in the end times in Paradise in Garfield, Texas on this gloomy, yuck, Tuesday morning. Where are we? February 13th, 2018, I believe. So uh, I need to get ready just to go through our Tuesday doomsday headlines on oh, a little dog is looking at that swirly to the window like that. You see that swirly to the window. Anyway, before I dive into the doomsday headlines, I want to dive into uh, the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag, mailbag or mailbox, whatever you want to call it, to see what is on the minds of our Alerts Tribes members. Well, my little dog continues to go get that swirly like that. Oh God, that's my new uh, my new smartphone ringing. Don't you love it? Uh, Hambone getting shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ! Cannot believe, guys, that I got this goddamn thing. Now I don't know how to turn the fucking thing off. How do you turn these motherfucking smartphones off? I don't, need, I don't know where the fucking off button is. I gotta go put it in another goddamn room so I can, uh, what in the fuck was I thinking? Getting a goddamn smartphone. Jesus fucking Christ, have I lost my goddamn mind. You know, the last one of these fucking things I bashed with a rock. So what I should do with this piece of shit out of my fucking mind. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, we were, uh, we were diving into the uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag and I'm, we're going to hear from Megan921 who is me again, me again 921. Uh, who was commenting on yesterday's comment <coughs> of the day from uh, another Alert Tribes member talking about how human extinction must be seen as the, the preferred option on the planet. Get rid of us goddamn naked apes, our fucking smartphones and everything else that we uh, brought to the table. But uh, me again, 921 just has one thing to add. I'd just like to add an important topic that never gets an airing. <coughs> that is human nature. Anyone who has lived a while, knocked around, and maybe studied a bit will know that there are only two things that will cause people to change their behavior. This applies to businesses and government. They are one, that something will be gained <coughs> or that something will be lost. This includes the notion of punishment. Advertisers continually exploit these two principles with their offers of a reward if you do something, as in to be entered into a draw for a prize or get frequent flyer points. And on the other side, it's hurry, don't miss out, limited stocks, etc. Of course, there is a tiny, tiny minority of people who operate on the moral principle of altruism, something that for the majority is no more than a funny word that they could maybe find in a dictionary if there was a reward. Knowledge? I don't think so. The human brain still operates on a primitive level. Flight or fight. Immediate response. It also responds to immediate threat, not something in the distance. So why give up a comfortable lifestyle when there is nothing to be gained? and nothing to be lost because any potential problems are way off and are not causing problems today. Why bother? 
Same for governments and businesses. In their case, why lose power or profit? Richard Attenborough referred to this short-term memory response when asked what it would require to make people act. After a pause, he said, disaster. And that is where we are heading, and it is certainly too late to stop it. Human nature will not change. A final word to dispel ideas of moving into the end times, of coming together and embracing everyone with love. It will be protect me, protect my tribe. The title of a movie that has already started showing. There you go. Thank you, me again, 921, for breaking down human nature. Yes, to be protect me, protect my tribe. And uh, Dean Rao weighs in with this. Yes, right on target. I don't think I'm misanthropic to recognize that humans by their nature seem bent on destroying everything that I think worth preserving. I guess they're justified by their rights and are getting their way. And I don't think my hero, Mark Twain, was misanthropic, just disappointed when he said, quote, we all belong to the nasty, stinking little human race. And of course, it is not nice for God's beloved vermin to scoff at each other. Oh, we are a nasty little lot. And to think there are people who would like to save us and continue us, it won't happen if I have any influence. Well, obviously, Mark Twain, uh, the ironic humorist, the ironic satirist, uh, and master of uh, describing the human race, did not have any influence because he wrote those words in 1899 on the edge of the 20th century. And uh, the nasty little lot of humans is probably, I don't know what the population of humans was when uh, Mark Twain wrote those, but I guess the population of our nasty little lot of humans is about five times what it was then. But anyway, maybe uh, we won't be around. This nasty little lot of humans won't be around. So we're going to wrap up this rant and uh, come back with our romp through the book of Revelation, otherwise known as the morning headlines on the mainstream media news, coming up in one minute. Bye, guys.